Sina as a meditator. Got a mudra right here. Right here? It's a mudra. Upon the, uh, upon the meditator lies these things that oppose his eternal peace. They are hope that you will lay upon this part. So they say to themselves. So they've already fucked it up. They say, this part. They say, I hope that you're going to lay hold on this part of God in fanaticism. And that you're going to forget about the love of your neighbor because of your love of Je. Now I want you to remember something. The Buddha never, and I mean never, and when I say never, I mean never, never, not once, not even an inkling, gave wind that that was his will. To cave to anybody for any reason was never Buddha's will. Buddha said to nihilists, be nihilists. How does that affect me? It doesn't. Okay? So we have nihilists in our government and we have nihilists in other places throughout the world. Some nihilists are leading whole militias. Some nihilists are in every place. Our goal, when we encounter, when we as spiritual enlightened Christians, because you will in your astral body, I have given you the tools. And I am telling you, with these tools, you will encounter these beings your goal is to liberate them into love. You are going to find that tricks, that center. And you're going to say, excuse me, but don't you love them here? And then explode. That's your, go that, that, that's your whole goal. Explode into infinite light. You just say, guess what? Yeah, you, you know what? You was Venezuelan Pol Pot until you discovered that you really did want to kiss him on the cheek. And then all of a sudden you discovered, oh, I guess it wasn't so bad. I'm going to kiss everybody on the cheek. Hum, hum, putt. That's where you're going to go with that. That's how we do that, okay? So that has to be your whole directive. Has to be like that. And that's just one example. Is that, is that Om Vajrasutvaham is the same as Om Shri Kula Chukra Hum Hum Put. They both essentially communicate the same thing. And that same thing is, I'm absolute truth. Let me help you to realize that. Here we go. And that's always tends to be the same. When you look at pretty much all of them mantra, you're looking at the same thing. What you're looking at is, here I am, enlightened being. Let's go now. Tends to be the mantra. I'ma just put it down to brass tacks. You got a lot and a lot of things to interpret and those are fruitful things. Don't get me wrong, you can learn a whole lot of fruitful things from those things. But let us start at basics. The basics is, is that, oh, guess what? 
Love belongs to all of us. Love, love, do. Okay? Then I feel like that's the heart of the Kala Chakra Mantra. That's the heart of every mantra. Even Om Mani Padme huh, is essentially saying, I am love. Here I am. Om Mani Padme Hum, in fact, says just that. Om Mani Padme Hum. Um, and I'm not doing it the justice that it deserves it in its own lecture here. It, but just in a few seconds. Okay. Om Mani Padme Hum. Om Mani the Jewel of Consciousness. Om Mani Put me hum, it's here in my heart, the eternal love, Jew. Huh. Oh, money, put me hum. I am that. Okay? So even when we simplified it down to its simplest parts, we're still resolved before Zen rule, as is discussed in lesson on the five Zen rules. Zen compassion. Okay. So, it's important for us, very, be focusing upon this.